Good morning, my dear hero. This is Bri back with another heroic app overview. Hopefully give you some inspiring wisdom. Today we're going to talk about how to embody more curiosity in your life. It's an underappreciated virtue we're going to talk about. We're going to walk through some tools um, that can help you embody that virtue more today. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, heroic.us. Check out our splash page. We train heroes. We help you move from theory to practice to mastery so we can change the world together. The app has been scientifically shown to help you boost your energy, your productivity, and your connection. 40% more energized. We ran a pilot study with a thousand of our founding members, and we found that uh, those who hit three targets on the Heroic app every day are 40% on average, 40% more energized, 20% more productive, and uh, 15% more connected. 20% more productive. So in your work, are you doing the things that you do when you're at your best work-wise? Well, we help you do that. And if you hit three targets on the app, on average, again, you're 20% more productive. That's like working five days and getting a bonus day. And all you're doing is spending a few minutes in the app, but getting really clear on who you are at your best and then doing it. Life doesn't need to be so, so challenging. Who are you at your best and what do you do? Well, at my best, I'm a heroic philosopher CEO. I embody these virtues. I recommit to my sacred vow every morning. I do the most important thing. I shut down completely. For me, it's by 6 p.m. And then I do a bunch of other things. So right now I'm doing the number one win, which is creating a video for you today. Perfect. I'm going to do that every day. I've done that 168 times now. Awesome. I recommit to my sacred vow every single time. I look down at my tattoo. Hero, I see a world in which 51% of the population is flourishing by 2051. I'm all in. Perfect. I'll hit that target again. We begin every one of our team meetings recommitting to that vow. Perfect. Let's go. I've hit that 92 times over the last um, X weeks since we launched the app. Anyway, Heroic App helps you move from theory to practice to mastery in your energy, your work, and your love. There's my thousand second timer going off again, which, as you know, if you follow my work, is one of my um, energy protocol targets. I'm not going to hit that right now because I'm not going to go bang out some burpees, um, but I will when I'm done with this. All right, we're talking virtues in uh, this part of our series. We walked through the cardinal virtues, wisdom, self-mastery, courage, love at a high level. We went into depth on zest and hope. Today, it's all about curiosity. Let's look at the tools. So curiosity, our declaration for curiosity, each of the virtues has its own declaration. I pay attention to what's working in my life and what needs work in my life. I shine a flashlight on my life. I don't bring a hammer banging myself up um, and shaming myself. I shine a flashlight, right? Courageously looking at what may need a little bit of work and what uh, may be working so I can do more of it. We've got a bunch of tools to help you move from theory to practice to mastery um, to embody more of this virtue. And uh, let's look at one of my favorites. So win or learn. So here's one way to win or learn rather than win or lose. And then you realize that, wait, 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 wait. Learning is winning if I'm getting a little bit better. So I'm going to win or win. We got a three-question after-action review process. So I actually got this idea in part from an interview I did with uh, one of my favorite writers, an Olympic gold medalist named Lanny Basham. He had won a silver medal. He said he choked and then he went out and he studied. He, he talked to all the gold medalists. How did you, what do you do to be mentally strong? And then he went out, won a gold medal, and then he's been teaching mental toughness for decades. So we summarize some of that wisdom and a bunch of other wisdom into this. You got to remember that elite level performers and heroes use everything as fuel for our growth by applying this post game or post action process. Since learning, is, since learning is winning, we win or we win. So after you do something that may not have gone quite as well as you want, you want to start by saying, well, what went well? Right? So think about if you went for a goal and you fell short of it. Right? Um, what, what, what went well about that? Well, I, I set a, a goal for myself I was really excited about. I didn't hit it, but I'm, I'm, I'm proud of myself that I went for it. Well, what needs work? What could you have done a little bit better? And what did you learn from whatever shortcoming you may have experienced. All right, perfect, part two. And then how will you get just a little bit better? What can you do a little bit differently next time through this cycle? And that's what it's all about. 
Then you celebrate that you went for it, you look at what needed a little bit of work, and then you go out and you get a little bit better. Then you get excited and you experience what Ray Dalio calls a mistake learner's high. You also want to consider embracing heroic self-compassion. So we talk about um, Kristen Neff's scientific research on knowing that you're not alone. Common humanity, everybody falls short of their standards. Practice some self-kindness as well and some mindfulness, and then you throw in some other tools. I'll walk through that at another time. For now, let's remember, we win or we learn as we embody the virtue of curiosity, shining a spotlight on what might need a little bit of work in our lives and doing the things that we know already work. That's the virtue of curiosity in a nutshell. How about we live with a little bit more of that? Not someday, but today.